Hello, welcome to Ken Fashion Journey. Today, actually, I was actually looking and reading this book. This particular book is by the uh, Saporealist. And I invite you to come nearer to have a look at this book. I just re received it about two weeks ago. This is the latest book whereby they talk about gentlemen menswear and what is the current scene right now in the market. So as I compare this particular book, all right, which is a uh, by, by the publisher Rizoli and then it's printed in Italy. As I compare it, this is the year 2020. This is the latest version. And I go back to compare it with this version, which is the clothes and the man, whereby I believe every gentleman also will have this book. This is back in the 1980s, whereby I first learned about men's dressing. And then moving on to the 1990s, they updated Alan, Alan, Mr. Alan Fluser, updated it with another one of his versions, which is called Dressing the Man. So what happened is that these two are great books. They are excellent a uh, desk book whereby it's good for you to refer on how to lay your foundation of menswear. However, as we are in the year 2020, everything is different. We have the new norm, we started to wear the face mask when we walk out due to the pandemic. However, fashion also changes. Now it's moving from more brick and from brick and mortar store to online and to social media. And we talk about fashion over here on the social media. So that's why I update myself with this book, which is called The Saturnalist Man. It is very different. It also talks about the traditional silhouette and also how the man actually dresses nowadays. It is totally different. The way they mix and match and the, the gentleman look also, it's, it's different nowadays. So what happened is that coming down from uh, my previous episode is that I was talking about the J-Press 110 Anniversary Collection. The J-Press 110 Anniversary Collection was launched in the year 2000. That was eight years ago. And as I was saying, is that I'd like to share with you and talk more about the J-Press 110 Anniversary Collection. So today what I have over here, when you come to it and you can have a look, is the, is the J-Press 110 Anniversary Autumn Winter Tweed Jacket. As you can see, is that the way I combine it and I mix and match it, is I brought it to the year 2020 look. Because previously this Harris tweed jacket, they, you, they would like to pair it with a traditional Oxford shirt or a Tattersall check shirt and then it goes with your grey flannel pants or oily colour pants or khaki pants or you will go with a traditional pair of jeans. But in the year 2020, with the inspiration and update from this book, so what happened is that today I present to you the new look on how I mix and match for this J-Press 110 anniversary jacket we was, which was bought in 2012 to the latest look. So, foremost what I have is that in a, instead of pairing it with the regular shirt whereby it is the Oxford shirt or with the Tattersall shirt, I pair it with a flannel shirt and with a bold window pane. And the next thing is that a, uh, I have it with a Donegal tree tie. This Donegal tree, it, when you can come and have a closer look, is that instead of the normal olive or the navy, it is a lilac color, beautiful. And then at the back, the blade is different. It's with the check. And this particular lovely tie, it comes from none other than General North. And as I go, is that a, uh, instead of not a normal a, uh, silk pocket handkerchief, I have it with a bandana to give the casualness from the a, a sporty tweet. And as you can see, this is the a, uh, the material is a uh, Harris tweet, the famous Harris tweet from a uh, 
Scotland and then it is the JPRESS 110 anniversary collection and to pair it off I would like to wear it with a burnt orange jeans to give it the casual and sporty look and last but not least instead of spotting it over here with a fly with a fishing fly from all this I have it with the lovely floral knitted button on it and whereby the green and the orange you pick back up your trousers and after looking at all this this is a fantastic jacket because it comes in a patch breast pocket and then two patch pocket on the side with flaps and with full leather buttons having said that the whole thing was given a new updated and refreshing look however one thing whereby i felt that it will always last two times is none other than the classic castle loafer this is the classic castle loafer cordovan from a uh, brooks brother is specially made by Alden and then of course I would like to go with the uh, purple tie to match the light the purple socks to match with the lilac tie or you can go with a pair of a uh, hunter green to match and pick up the green floral spots over here and also the green flakes all around this lovely tweed jacket and I hope that you enjoy the look and give yourself a new fresh look with your traditional tweed jacket and till the next episode of the Can Fashion Journey I look forward to see you again bye